Hey guys, it's Angel B here and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be looking at 25 Minecraft mods that sh should be in the game. These add ones that just make sense. So before we get into this video, please be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. It means a lot to me and let's get right in. So this first Minecraft mod is called Floating Islands. Now this makes it so you can create a new world type where the world is basically floating on floating islands. This brings nostalgia back from when beta days. But yeah, it adds everything that should be in the regular world, like even mine shafts. Oz, everything you can get to survive. This next Minecraft mod is called the Portable Stonecutter and it lets you stone cut blocks portably. Here I'm gonna stone cut some stone you don't need the block, you drop an anvil onto a stone cutter for you to get this item. This next Minecraft mod is called Imis Backpacks. And it adds all these different types of backpacks. It adds blazing backpacks, withered and endless. This is the baby backpack, the frayed backpack, the plated backpack, gilded backpack, bejeweled, blazing backpack, withered backpack, and endless backpack. They all just add loads of space, the better backpack you get. It also adds an ender pouch, which lets you access ender chests portably. This next Minecraft mod is called Advancement Book. Now this makes it so you can place a book stand down where you can view your advancements. It also adds the book, which lets you view them to craft it. It is just wood and a book. The advancement book, you will spawn with it when you create your world. This next Minecraft mod is called Outvoted. Now this adds the creatures to the game that the live mob votes weren't able to make it into the game. And it stays true to the vanilla concepts. It adds the hovering inferno, a great hunger and monster of the ocean, which obviously spawns in the ocean. But for this demonstration, it is not spawning in the ocean. I spawned it in. It also adds a bunch of items such as this helmet that the inferno drops and also a shield which you can craft using the shield part and a shield in a smithing table. And here is how it looks. Pretty cool. This next Minecraft mod is called Just Enough Items and it adds this sidebar here where you can search for items, see the recipe and see all the items in the game. A lot of people ask me about this mod because it's in all of my videos, but if you click on an item, it shows you the recipe, which is why I use it. It's really good to use when you have loads of mods and you're not sure how to craft stuff. If you click Control zero, you can hide it and bring it back. Next Minecraft mod is just called Craftable Name Tag, and that's literally what it does, lets you craft a name tag using string paper and a slab. This next Minecraft mod is called Ambient Sounds and it adds ambient sounds to the game. As you can hear, I'm just gonna stop talking so you can hear some of them. We've got the ocean sounds and there's also seagulls, seagull sounds. Depending on what biome and where you are in the world, all the sounds will change. So when you're next to the sea, that is when you'll hear the seagulls. This next Minecraft mod is called Camels. Now this makes it so you can tame camels. Here, you, I am trying to tame it. I just keep riding it until it loves me. And then the hearts come up. That means it is tamed. And then when you click E on it, you'll have an inventory. It kind of works like a llama. If you open it, you can put carpet and a saddle on it and you can ride it. It is very slow riding, but it's high strength. It can carry more items than a llama. It has really high health and it has its own sounds. You can take a chest, right click it, and you can access its inventory by clicking E. This next Minecraft mod I'm gonna show you while I'm on the camel, it is called Dismount. It, you can set a dismount key in order to dismount off an entity instead of using left shift. So here it's set to R and if we click R, you can come off but you can also crouch on the camel because it replaces the left shift which is pretty cool this next minecraft mod is called creatures and beasts now this currently only adds three creatures to the game such as these little lizards they come in different colors depending on the biome if you throw apple slices it can make the sad ones happy 
also adds these little duck creatures which you can tame with fish and breed and then they will keep continuously walking but when they do walk they walk in a pack and the little baby is on the mom's little bag which is so cute this next creature is called a cinder shell and it is another tortoise with a volcano like shell and its drop can be used as furnace fuel and also it adds nets where you can capture the little lizards and place them back down if you want to make like a habitat for them this next minecraft mod is called just enough resources now this is an add-on for just enough items where it shows you the drops on what creatures drop what so here you can search for bone and it will show you what creatures drop bone and it'll tell you the biomes experience dropped. Here we're gonna search for leather, and then you click on dungeon chest option where you can see you can get it in dungeon chests as well as mob drops. And it just shows you all of the creatures that drop leather and it tells you how many you'll get. It works for all items that are mob drops and even ores. Here is the world gen feature. It tells you what level you can find gold and other ores at and it will show you the best level and the percentages. This next Minecraft mod is called Upstream and now this upgrades the rivers. It makes them super wide, super pretty and it just looks so much better when they're this wide. It kind of makes it look a little bit real realistic. This is for forge and fabric and it also works with biomes are plenty. This next Minecraft mod is called Fins and Tail and it adds a few new creatures to the game such as these peewee, bluey, banded redback shrimp, arrowfish, swamp muckers, flatback sucker, mud horse, bugfish, leaf snail, crabs, just all these different types of sea creatures. Look how cute these ones are, they're so cute! It adds all these items too, such as the fish drops when they die, some boots, some gems, an amulet, shells, etc. You can eat the fish too. This next Minecraft mod is called Realistic Horse Genetics. Now this adds a whole new bunch of colours of horses and some of them are quite rare. It also changes the speed, health and jump strength of a lot of different horses. You can breed different horses to get different statistics. There is loads of different sizes too. So when you tame it, it'll tell you how tall they are and it'll have slots for your saddle and armor. You right click with the book, you'll get this guidebook and it'll tell you about the horse and its power and it's genetic test testing. This adds gene control color mutations. You can put carpets on horses to use it as decorative saddle. Genetic testing. Peaceful creatures can also ride the horses and mount them. Horses spawned in village pens have a small chance to start off tamed and saddled and it also adds netherite horse armor and this gender change potion which changes the gender of the horse. This next Minecraft mod is called Paxels. Now this lets you craft a Paxel using an axe, a pickaxe and a shovel as I just showed you. You can also do them in different materials, stone, gold, diamond, netherite, sun seeker which is crafted with a nether star, moon seeker and gem seeker. They all have different effects and it's just a very simple mod. This is basically how the tool works. You can use it as a shovel, a axe and a pickaxe. So you can just have it all in one tool. Next Minecraft mod is called Supplementaries. Now this adds a whole new bunch of new items such as this wind chicken which swings depending on the weather. It adds these signs which can be for locations and you can rename them. It adds a clock, this. It adds these item shelves which are pretty cool and unique type of shell. You can place an item on each one. Adds these fireflies and you can capture them and put them into a firefly jar. You can also capture small slimes into the jars too, but it has to be the smallest type of slime. And then you can place it down and it will release or you can shift right click and you will have a jar with a slime in and it's got a really cool animation. You can also capture bees in the jar, any small creature really. Shift right click and you'll have a bee in a jar. You can also get two jars and a faucet and you can transfer liquids from the jar into another jar or different types of containers. And it also adds these mob cages where you can catch chickens and I think rabbits. 
you can place it down and it'll have a chicken in a cage. So this is just some of the features this mod adds. It adds way more. This final mod is called Simply Plans. Now this adds a whole bunch of planes to the game. It has the crafting recipe. If you install JEI, you can view the recipe. Here we're gonna place it down. You can right click and you are in the plane. It adds different colors. It depends what mods you have installed. If you have biomes of plenty, you can get different colors of wood planes. So here I am flying the plane. I really love this mod because the planes look very vanilla feeling as if they were in the actual game. They are kind of like old type of planes, which I think personally fits in the game as they're not too advanced and futuristic. I love the animation when you land a plane because it's like a rough landing. <laughs> Here are some of the other types of planes. This is a cargo plane. This is the large plane, which can fit two people. The regular plane, and it also adds a helicopter, which also looks super cool. Right, this final, final mod is called Optifine. Now this lets you enhance the game and make it run better. You can change loads of settings. You can add shader packs. You can click other and you can have the weather, show FPS. You can set the permanent time, change all the animations. You can basically tweak this to get maximum performance. Turn your smooth lighting off, that will give you more FPS. Graphics fast will give you more FPS. Animations off will give you more FPS. Obviously it won't look as good, but it will give you more FPS. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please leave a like and subscribe if you have and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!